Okay, next we're gonna start putting back together everything. First, clean everything around with the brake cleaner. Wipe everything out really good. Make sure everything is good, nice, clean and dry. You have to dry this thing, the napkin. Clean and dry it, make sure it's nice, clean and dry. And then we start putting back together oil cooler. Sure, you clean all the silicone from here too. Razor blade. Take your time, don't rush. Okay. Wipe everything out, clean it with the brake cleaner start putting back together okay I put two gaskets I mean first gasket put the cooler another gasket put two bolts right there you can kind of screw them so they don't fall off that's kind of cool and then from the bottom I'm gonna from the bottom from here I'm gonna go up and install the cooler sorry guys that's only one place I can find where I can put my phone so I can record it, the process. Okay, it did not work the, how I planned the first time. So let's do it different this time. Cover with the gasket on top and bolt. We got the second bolt. Okay, just finish installing this line right here. Go there, install a new anti freeze tube. Put the harness behind like it's supposed to be here. Now we install this bracket for the alternator. Okay, after we're done installing this bracket for the alternator, we will install the AC pump back how we took it off. After the AC pump, we have to install the alternator. First, we have to put this upper bolt so it will hold the AC pump in place. And then on the bottom don't forget to install back the black plate that we took it off I hope I don't drop my phone in the oil this is the plate right here make sure you got this plate on too one and two Just tie the bolts, three bolts, two in the bottom, one on top. After you finish installing EC compressor, you have to start installing alternator. Make sure you put this bracket back like this when you tighten it. And on the bottom, don't forget to put this this plate right here on the bottom. This metal plate. And use a zip tie to zip tie this plug what like was before so this plate goes on the bottom of 
delta meter. This is negative, this is positive. Then you install the plugs, install all the harness, and then after that we're gonna install the coolant tube from the reservoir. Okay, after we finish installing this tube, plug all the connectors, tight, positive, negative, plug this plug, connect this plug, everything is tight, everything is good, you can install the belt. Before I do the flush on the system, I would like to remove the thermostat. It's located here on top of the engine. From this tube, there's a three bolts, eight millimeter. You remove those bolts and remove the thermostat. When you're gonna flush the system from the, make sure there's no oil in your coolant, you don't have to wait till the thermostat's open, so you will flush the rest of the system. And I got a new thermostat just, I don't know, just to be safe, I want to install the new thermostat. Good thing I removed the thermostat, it's not good, you can tell it. And it's already gap in there, so it's not even closed all the way in. So my next thing will be a little bit harder to remove the thermostat because you'll have to remove these bolts too, to remove the thermostat. Because the tube you won't go up until you remove these two bolts. So if you need to replace the thermostat, make sure you get this gasket. It's really cheap gasket. It's like a GR coolant front gasket. Okay guys, after you finish installing alternator, make sure everything is tight. Double check all the plugs. Just make sure everything is good, tight. If you broke some zip tights, put them back on. Check your belt. Check all the nuts, clamps, make sure the air filter installs properly. Make sure there's no gap, nothing. Just double check everything before you do everything. Okay guys, to wash the cooling system from the oil, I use a dish soap. Put some dish soap in here, put some water and run it for at least one hour, then drain the water.
Grey plug located on the driver's side on the bottom of the radiator. It's a hexagon number 10 millimeter. Hexagon 10 millimeter. Then you drain the system after you run it for one hour and put some clean water inside. Again, run it for one hour, drain it again. And a couple of times until you have a clean water coming out from the radiator. If you have a clean water coming out, then you just drain everything and put new antifreeze. You'll be good to go.